From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Soggy conditions this morning are expected to continue throughout the rest of the day today and into the weekend. I'm Caitlin Patuchak and I'll have your details for that in the rest of my Thursday morning forecast. Looking at Beaver Stadium right now, looks rather muggy out there right now. Visibility has dropped. Usually you can see Mount Nittany pop up right behind Beaver Stadium, but alas, that is not the case today with this dense fog that we have in the area. So if you are traveling this morning, make sure to take caution when you're on the roads. Current conditions show it's about 37 degrees outside and our dew point is 37. If I told you I blow dried my hair last night, you probably wouldn't believe me because it is just that humid. Um, winds are calm, however, ahead of a system that's supposed to move in throughout the rest of the day today that I'll have more details on in the rest of the forecast. A look at our temperatures, fairly widespread so that they are above average across much of the Commonwealth really warming up ahead of that system down in the southwestern portions of the state. Usually Philly's our warm spot, so it's surprising to see Pittsburgh and Johnstown taking that title for this morning's forecast. Our live radar shows that we're experiencing widespread rain showers across much of the Ridge and Valley region and central Pennsylvania, and especially eastern Pennsylvania, where that rain really does extend all the way up to Scranton and the Endless Mountains as well. Our future weather can show us a little bit more about what's going to happen today for temperature and precipitation. We're expecting rain showers to move in in the, more, or in the afternoon excuse me, and throughout the evening commute. So if you are traveling home uh, this evening from work, just note that there could be some rain showers potentially heavy on your commute if you're traveling in the southeastern portions of the Commonwealth. As we advance our um, future weather further, we'll see that we have another batch of rain moving through into the overnight hours tonight, popping up with some um, Fairly heavy rainfall across lots of the Ridge and Valley region, so that's something to take note of um, if you're going out this evening at all. Behind that system, we are expecting clouds to overtake much of the area um, with some lake-enhanced showers. And overcast skies are expected to continue into tomorrow morning with rather calm conditions, but that is not going to continue throughout the weekend. Our pressure tracker here can give us a look at kind of generally what's happening across much of the nation. As we see, there's a lot of blue on the map here, and that indicates high pressure, generally calm conditions. However, as we advance into Friday night and Saturday morning, we'll see the system, um, this big blob of red here pop up. That's a system that has gathered some moisture from the Gulf and is going to bring some travel impacts and weather impacts to us over the course of this weekend. So what exactly does that look like? As that system moves in on Saturday night, we'll see it start to impact um, from the south to the north. So we'll experience rain showers to start off. However, on the cold side of that system, we'll start seeing some snow pop up, especially across the northern tier and at some higher elevations in the Ridge and Valley region, especially in the Johnstown, Altoona area. As that heads into Monday, we might see some pop-up lake effect showers behind the system, but generally overcast skies and temperatures are expected to decrease a bit behind that system. We'll have a more updated forecast for you on that front on Monday. For our current conditions, um, or for our conditions this evening, we are expecting a relatively warm night considering the time of year. Um, rain showers are expected to pop up intermittently throughout the evening, as I mentioned earlier. So just make sure to take note of that if you're traveling or going out anywhere this evening. For tomorrow, we are again on the warmer side, um, partly cloudy skies. We'll see some sun peak out throughout some portions of the day. However, we will be seeing some more rain pop up as we head into the weekend. So. At, generally rainy forecast. We're starting off rainy, going to warm up a little bit. Um, we'll see some sun heading into Friday. However, as we head into the weekend, we'll see some rain and some gusty conditions Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a little bit of mixed precipitation here in the State College area, but we'll keep a closer eye on that and let you know if we have any significant updates throughout the weekend. Um, sunshine is expected to return early next week, but we will have a more updated forecast for you then. From the Campus Weather Service, I'm Caitlin Patuchak. Have a great day.